Hello YouTube, Winkam here. Uh, today we are doing a small review video of the Matco Quenum Fly Controller here mounted on a Hobby King Color 250 board. So let's open it. Here on the right you have a FR Sky X8R receiver with the SBUS capabilities. Here on the left you have the video transmitter with a cloverleaf antenna. Uh, so here we have the SBUS connection which is nice to not have a mess with all your cables what else here also we have a first sky current sensor which allows me to have the total consumption of power from the, the quad while flying and here between all the cables you have the Matco really small really neat uh, fly controller uh, the good point uh, about this fly controller is that we have a USB port you can connect this fly controller to your computer to and with the provided software you can make the configuration of your fly controller which is really nice and we'll see what it looks like when you connect it uh, to the provided software to configure the fly controller So here on the right you have the Taranis transmitter and on the left you have the interface of the Quenum Matco uh, software which has al allows you to set up uh, your flight controller. Here now you see it's connected. So on the left you have the virtual compass. Uh, when I'm moving it, the quad, you can see that the compass is moving. And on the right you have the artificial horizon with the pitch and roll display. So as you can see, it's responding. Here you have the values uh, of the pitch and the roll. Here the calibration button, I will not do that because the, the system is also already calibrated. You have the F mode, so here I'm in uh, two dimension attitude mode and the board is currently disarmed. Here the frame is uh, X-frame, classic setup. Uh, the RC stuffs here. You have all your channels. So here you have the elevator. It's inverted because I'm flying in mode 2. The ailerons. The rudder. And the throttle. As you can see it's not responding. It's normal because I'm using a safety switch to avoid uh, unwanted throttle. I will explain it later. Here on the top I have the SD button which is linked to the auxiliary, the first auxiliary channel to select the fly mode. So here you can see that the switch is in the 2D attitude, 2D uh, ratio attitude and the 2D ratio. I can change the fly mode uh, with this three position switch it's the same for the secondary switch here this switch allows me to arm and disarm the board so it's also a security uh, safety switch as you can see here in the software as long as the USB port is connected I think that the board cannot be armed I'm not totally sure about this as you can see here the secondary uh, auxiliary channel is responding but in the status window it's not changing so I guess that when you're connected in USB you cannot arm the board for safety reasons. Here in the parameters I'm not using one-shot uh, ESCs I'm no using normal ESCs, not reversible. Um, I left the throttle range uh, with the default values. Uh, same here, I'm using old stock values and as long as I can see it's perfectly working for me same for the gains I'm using simple setup and I kept all the default values and surprisingly it's working quite well so for the last part of this video here we have the TX companion software which allows me to configure my Tyrannis transmitter so it's a classical setup nothing much to say about this 
in the inputs we have the classical values throttle, ailerons, elevator and rudder in the mixes I have 100% for those uh, four channels and we have the SA switch which correspond to the auxiliary 1 channel and the SD switch to the auxiliary 2 channel we'll see here in the Quantum software it corresponds to those uh, two channels to select the fly mode and arm or disarm the board uh, so here in the special functions uh, we have here uh, this switch uh, which is the safety switch that reduce the value of the throttle when the switch is in the up position and plays a warning sound when uh, the switch is in the, the down position it tells me that now the board uh, is ready to fly and we have also the logical function 1 which plays a sound every 10 seconds and the logical switch here uh, defines that when the total consumption uh, is more than 1250 milliamps hour uh, which tells me that I'm reaching the the total consumption of my battery while flying and last but not least we have the telemetry panel here we can see that the consumption value is a calculated value based on the consumption of the current the Terranis is uh, integrating the data itself here we have the RSSI other uh, telemetry values the current and also the VFAS which corresponds to the the voltage of the battery which can also be used um, to tell that the battery is dying so that's it for this uh, setup video of the Metco Quantum Fly Controller uh, thanks for watching if you have any question do not hesitate ask them in the comment section and uh, well share subscribe like See you soon, guys.